Adrian Tamine's Killing and Dying, a collection of six short stories, is full of beautiful and sad denouements. Everyday life presented in a way that's beautiful and tragic at the same time. Covering a wide variety of styles, Adrian Tamine's work feels unique and suited to each story individually. Above all else, Adrian Tamine is supremely confident in his work. And Tamine knows when a silent frame is more impactful than one packed with dialogue. The presentation of the book is beautiful as well. Sold in a hardcover with full colour pages and a plastic sleeve bearing the title Killing and Dying, featuring some of Tamine's own artwork on the front cover, the entire book is presented excellently with attention to detail in all the right places. This attention to detail continues on within the stories themselves. Small throwaway remarks, glances and looks are all that the book needs to communicate the complex ideas that it holds within. And quite astonishingly, Tamine manages to make all of these outlandish and strange interactions and stories feel very relatable on almost every level. The characters all feel human, real, and that's more than most books can manage. And it's especially impressive considering the limited dialogue with which he builds his worlds. Since I bought Killing and Dying, it stayed beside my bed to be read and reread over and over. Each page packs a wealth of ideas, and each story an entire universe. And while some stories are far more easy to understand than others, there's a palpable feeling that all these stories are intensely personal. The book as a whole reminded me quite often of the sadder aspects of Louis C.K.'s work. There's both a tragic and a redeeming quality to almost every character in the book, and for that each story feels incredibly strong. I can't recommend Killing and Dying enough. Tamine is such an excellent artist, and every panel, every word feels carefully selected, each tool chosen carefully for the job at hand. If you get the chance, I highly recommend picking it up. So this video was something a little bit different. It was a short overview of a book that I really liked. I'm going to try and cover more books and graphic novels in future, and any advice on how to do so would be greatly appreciated. Cheers, have a good one.